The WebJet widget does not only allow you to create different kinds of styles of widgets to put on your website, but you can also start different kinds of flows. And the way to do this is a little bit more advanced, but we are going to walk you through this step by step. The first thing that you will need are different kinds of flows inside your chatbot. So what I did for this video is I just created flow one, which just has a block with hello, how can I help? And flow two will be a, this is a product flow. So this could be a sales flow for a specific product. And flow one is hello, how can I help? And this could be some kind of customer support related query. So how to trigger these two different flows? If we take a look at the web chat widget itself, you will notice that at the beginning, you will be able to set a default starting flow. And I just set it towards the main flow for this example purpose. If we take a look at this example where I just pasted in the flow model, right? We will see something like this. So, hey guest, it is great to see you here. Would you like to continue towards the fun parts or did you have a question for us? So this is the main flow that is being triggered. But you can also trigger these two other flows so you can also trigger flow one and flow two the way to do this is go towards the widget section inside the tools menu and instead of directly going towards the web chat we are going to create a ref url we could name this any kind of name that we like to so this is just for the widget name so let's say this will be flow one so normally you would implement a channel, but at this moment in time, you do not need a specific channel because we are only going to use a certain section of this ref URL. The thing that we are going to do is we are going to connect this towards flow one, and then we are going with a custom ref parameter. So what we could do here, we could just say flow one in this case, but it could mean anything, right? So you could also say, and the only thing that you need to copy here is the custom ref parameter. So what we are going to do now, we are going to copy this ref parameter and we're going to save this ref URL. Inside the script itself, the only thing that you need to add now is the following text. And we will also put this inside the video description and on the page itself. But the only thing that you need to add is a question mark ref equals and then your pasted value of your ref parameter. And if this script reloads now, and it could take a few seconds, there we go. If we open it now, we should see a different kind of flow being triggered. So if we say start conversation, hello, how can I help? And this correlates with the flow one, right? So we could do exactly the same with the other one. So let's create a new ref URL and call this flow two. Press save. And from here, we're going to edit. And let's say this is called product. You can name it again, anything you like to. And then we're going to connect the opt-in flow towards flow two. We're going to copy this ref parameter and we're going to save this. Inside the script itself, the only thing that you are now going to replace is the ref parameter. So instead of question, we're now going to go with product. And if this reloads, it takes a few seconds to implement. And if the script reloads, we're going to take a look if the correct flow is now being triggered. This is a product flow. So this correlates with flow two. But you can go a little bit further than this even. So what you could do here is you can also use payloads inside of this custom script. Payloads mean that you can store specific values, specific data points into your own preferred custom fields. So if we take a look at this ref URL for flow two, right? We can go there. You will see that we can add payloads here, right? So what we could do, we could add a payload and the way to add a payload is by going in two midlines, two hyphens, and then add your data point. So if you add this data point, then you can save this data point towards any kind of custom field you have inside the chatbot. So for example, if you want to determine where the user is coming from, you can use this specific data point. So let's create a user field called traffic source. 
going to create this one and just go with a text custom field for now. And then we could use this directly inside the chat widget as a payload. So to determine where this user is coming from, you can save this value. And the way it works is if we go towards the script again, we have this ref parameter, so it's starting the correct flow. But we can now add two midlines or two hyphens, right? And now we can add a custom payload. So for example, this person comes from Facebook, right? So if we do this, and if I just opt in right now, so let's say start conversation. So if we go towards the bot users overview, we should have a custom field now, which states where this user is coming from. So if we go towards the bot users overview, so let's go with the bot users, and you will see that I already did a bunch of testing. But if we go with the latest bot user, you will see they, this one has three custom user fields. And if we take a look, you will see that the traffic source has now been set towards Facebook. So if we want to do something else, so if we want to say this person is coming from a certain page on our website, we could do so as well. So for example, we could also say that this person comes from the sales page for lead magnet. Ebook. And if we are going to opt in now, so it takes a few seconds, start the conversation. And if we take a look at the bot users overview right now, if we press reload, we will see that a new user has been created. And if we take a look at the custom user field, you will see that we now have the traffic source lead magnet ebook. You can save up till 10 different kinds of payloads. So it's totally up to you on how to use these payloads to your own advantage to save certain data points, where a user is coming from, and maybe some specific data about the page, right? You can determine the payloads yourself, but this is the way that you can use payloads inside your web chat widget. If you want to add another payload, you would just add two more midlines or hyphens. And then from here, you will be able to add another data set. Just be sure that you add that payload, that second payload, inside the ref URL that you connected. So for this one, you will need to save something else again. So let's go with the responses tab, press save. And if I say something random, this is a test. If we wait for it to reload, there we go, and we opt in right now. This is a product flow. If we go towards bot users, press refresh and go with the custom user fields, you will see that we have the traffic source lead magnet ebook, and we have the response custom field set at this is a test. So this is a little bit more of an advanced section of the web chat widget, but it will allow you to set up different kinds of flows on different kinds of pages, as well as save payloads towards the specific custom user fields that you set up inside of your ref URL.